Hey, this is the Fat Man here with my review of the new Futurama movie, Bender's Game. Since this is a DVD movie which is going to be shown on TV, I'm going to break up the review into four different parts, each part representing 25 minutes and an episode of the show, and I'll tell you whether that episode is worth watching or buying the DVD for. Yeah, that's what. What you doing, mini meatbags? Shooting crabs? We're playing Dungeons and Dragons. Buckle your sphincters! Oh, Lord. I'm half horse and half naked. Welcome to Cornwood! Queen of the Water Nymphos! So it's all come down to this. A dungeon and dragons. I didn't see it coming. Wait a second. I have an idea. I surrender! Here, eat my friends! Just give me one more second of sweet, sweet life! <laughs> Well, uh, that worked out pretty good, eh, fellas? So the first of the four episodes, it mainly is there to build the rest of the plot. And as a result, you can kind of feel that it's not as high quality as the other ones. A lot of the jokes are misses. Some of them are just plain terrible. But a word of, of compliment, it is quite good at certain points. Particularly when Bender goes crazy after playing Dungeons & Dragons. That's, that's just brilliant. But some of it, it just doesn't feel like they put a lot of effort into that section of it, which is a bit of a shame because it's probably one of the ones which would be more like it that you'd see in the show. So basically I'm giving the first episode of this. If you miss it on TV, it wouldn't be too much of a crime. It's not worth buying the DVD just for this one episode. Now as for the second episode, the second episode is much stronger than the first. It's got, the jokes are crisper, the storyline is much better and it's much faster paced. It definitely picks up where the first where, where the first one was falling and it's just brilliant from start to finish. This is one of the episodes that you really should watch out for. But despite this, it does still feel a bit too much plot orientated. But I'm not but that's not a criticism because while it's very heavy on the plot, it is very fun. Particularly when they get to the Nibel to the Nibelonian um, poop factory. That is brilliant. <laughs> and um, also, anyone who enjoys Dungeons and Dragons, you will love a little cameo in there by uh, by the creator who tragically died this year. So basically, the second episode of this is without doubt one you should watch on TV. Don't miss it, and it's definitely worth buying the DVD just for that episode. As for the third and fourth part, I'm going to consider them to be in the same kind of episode because I think that when they make the split, the episode will lose some of its quality, so I'm taking them as, as the same episode. And right now, I'm saying this right now, those two are easily two of the best episodes of Futurama. And that's very hard to get because Futurama is honestly one of the best shows ever. But it's brilliant if you're a Lord of the Rings fan and a Dungeons & Dragons fan especially because the jokes they make are just so crisp and so fresh and so lovingly cruel that if you're a fan of D&D or you're Lord of the Rings, you will lap this up. And if you don't, if you think that those two are for kind of weirdos, you did probably see Lord of the Rings like the other billion people that did. You'll still find some great humor here. Particularly with uh, with Mom, her son, and Friar's Gollum. My major criticism for this episode, though, has to line this one joke. A particular one joke, and that is um, 
Fry looks into the into this lake and he sees an advertisement. Well, it's funny at first, it suffers from what I like to call Family Guy Syndrome. And that is that they have a good joke, unfortunately they just keep it going for way too long. If you want more proof of what I'm talking about, uh, check out a Hulu clip where Peter tries to fro throw a frog out the window. It's funny at first, but you know, they really just milked it for too long and it got really boring and stale. And the same thing happened in this episode. But that joke is so easy to look past when you look at everything else, particularly Dr. Zoidberg as the Great Destroyer, which is just so funny. And Leela as the, uh, the crazy... Uh, my Cinator, I think it's... Whatever the hell they're called. You know, the weird horse people things. Easily, two of the best. This is without doubt the main reason why you should buy this DVD. Don't watch this one on TV. Buy the DVD for those two episodes alone. Bottom line is this. This episode, I found it to be brilliant. Very smart. Very funny. A couple of jokes went horribly wrong. The first episode's a very big miss. But the rest of it easily makes up for it. It's not as good as Bender's Big Score, and but it's much better than Beast of the Billion Backs. And I think any future purist will find this episode to be brilliant. Any D and D fan will find this episode to be brilliant, and most of the Rings fan will find this episode to be brilliant. In this game, the new feature movie is a DVD that you must buy. Don't download it. If you don't buy it, at least watch it on TV the day it comes out. Give the first one a miss, but at least watch the next three. Thank you. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed my review.